Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bree, and today I'm sharing with you my top five thrifting tips. Tip number one, have a plan. As a reseller, I like to go in with a bit of a plan when I'm going thrift shopping. I like to think about what's selling really well, what I may be low on, or think about the upcoming season or holiday, just to have a general idea of what I'm looking for. Now, if I find something that is a spectacular deal, or I know is a great seller, but isn't necessarily on my list, I usually go ahead and buy it. So that's the difference between thrifting for resale and thrifting for personal. If you're going in and thrifting for your own personal use, such as decorating your home or your wardrobe, I like to go in and think about what room I'm decorating, what holiday am I decorating for, um, what season of clothing am I shopping for. Otherwise, I walk into that store full of goodies and I go nuts. Then I end up back at home with a huge pile of stuff and no direction for it. That ends up wasting a lot of time and a lot of money. So always go in with some kind of plan. I went into this thrifting trip knowing I needed to stock my website big time, so I needed lots of inventory, and I got lucky I found lots of great things. I was focusing on wood and metal items, I know those are always great sellers for me, and then I wanted to make sure I got some spring themed items as well. The swans weren't on my list, nor were the ducks, but brass animals always sell well, so I picked them up too. When I went to the thrift store, I headed straight for my favorite sections first, the wood and the metal sections, the kitchen sections, and I found some great things. So having a plan in mind definitely paid off this time. If you're new around here, this is my lifestyle channel where I share everything DIY, fitness related, food, a little bit of the day and life of a reseller. Now you can find all of my flips, my thrifted finds, and the paint and products I sell over on my website, upcycledbybree.com. And if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and there's a little bell next to it. If you click that to all, YouTube will let you know every time I upload a new video. Tip number two, look high and look low. Get up on your tippy toes, check those top shelves, get your squat on and check those bottom shelves. If you think about it, when most people are shopping, we're all looking at eye level, right? But a lot of times people aren't looking high or low. They find one thing, they grab it, they put it in their cart and they move along. So look high, move things around, look behind things, check low move things around and look behind things low as well. You never know what you might find. These shelves are always packed full of some awesome things. So this area over here, I always make sure I get down very low. It looks like somebody else got to those bottom shelves first today. And then I always move things around on these shelves as well, because you can see there's lots of items tucked behind this first layer. Some awesome knife blocks were donated this time, a ton of salt and pepper shakers. And I was really digging all of these little wooden napkin holders I found. I didn't pick any up this time though. This was a pretty corbel. It was down on a bottom shelf tucked behind some other items. I picked that up and it has sold. And then up on top of everything, I found this beautiful duck, which came home with me as well. It's just a lid, but I really liked it, so I did grab it. Tip number three, curating a collection. So when I am needing a lot of inventory, I go in and I'm looking for things I can flip, but also things that I can just sell as is. And I'm thinking about curating a collection. So on this last haul, I was thinking French cottage. So I had a color scheme in mind. It really ended up being blue and brown. So I stuck to that. 
and then really stuck with the French country scheme. That way, when I got everything back home, I had this big, beautiful, curated collection of items. I could put it all on my site, all in one video, and it made sense. So I had the idea and the theme in mind. Once I started looking, I started finding these pops of blue. And that is when the blue and brown scheme kind of came into play. And that's when my collection really started developing. This little blue basket kicked it off. And then I found this beautiful brown basket, which I flipped into a blanket basket. I attached it onto a piece of wood, which I painted blue that all fell into the beautiful color scheme. Checking out the books, they always have a really cool collection. I loved all of these books, but red wasn't really what I was looking for. Then I started finding the great colors. Here is a gorgeous green book. I've started finding some pretty teals and blues. And then one tip, if you're not finding the colors you want, take the paper backings off of the books and you will find some gorgeous covers underneath. Once everything is set up on the counter together, it looks like it was a collection that was meant to be, not like a bunch of random items that were dropped off at the thrift store. Tip number four, make a second loop. Sometimes I will get my cart all the way full, I think I'm done, and I'm like, hmm. I need to make a second loop just in case. I'll stick my cart up by the front, ask them to watch it. That way I don't even have to push it around all full and heavy. And I'll walk through the store again and guaranteed there's always a few things I didn't catch the first time. Or sometimes they're stocking the store as you're shopping. So you might wanna just walk around one more time and double check before you leave. That's going to save time. You know, that way you're not going back and making a second trip to the thrift store because you need more junk. Instead, you got it on that second loop, right? <laughs> On my second loop this day, I found these two baskets, which matched the first blue basket. This cloche, which is gorgeous and has already sold as well. The enamel compost bin was a great find and this gorgeous brass bell as well. I did a double check on the floral. No big scores this day, but I wish I would have looked at those orange things on the top shelf better. Sometimes maybe you just need to make a third loop. Thrift tip number five. Check for discounts and specials. Certain stores have days where things are on sale according to a sticker price or a special occasion day. Maybe it's a military or senior discount. And sometimes if items are broken, broken at the thrift store, I'll ask for a discount on it. Why not, right? If you're at a retail store and something's broken, they'll usually give you a small discount. Same thing at the thrift store. So don't be afraid to ask. Worst thing they can do is tell you no. Here's a look at some of the items I thrifted and created for this beautiful French cottage theme. You can see everything came together in a beautiful curated collection. Some of these items are still available, some have sold. I will link the collection down below for you. They are all available over on my site, upcycledbybree.com and the current thrift haul collection if they have not sold yet.
I hope y'all had some fun thrifting with me today at the Giving Tree here in Topeka, Kansas. Drop me a comment below. What other kind of shopping trips would you like to see? I also do a little bit of like Dollar Tree shopping. I go to Target occasionally. I get a lot of stuff from Walmart as well and Amazon. So drop me a comment below. Of course, there's going to be some estate sales and garage sales coming up very soon too. Don't forget to share this video out with a friend and until next time, I will see y'all later. Bye friends. Today I am sharing with you my top five thrift, sharing with you my top five thrift tips. Thr